Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been working on lately. So first and foremost, I've been working in Blender because I've been really wanting to take advantage of the things that Blender does that Nomad doesn't. Blender is just better at the rendering, even if it's just for turntables. The artistic side of me, whatever I'm doing, I want it to be the best that it can be. The turntables on Nomad aren't great. You can kind of see they, they're a bit slow. You can see that they're just frame by frame. They're not really great. So even if it's just for turntables, I want to be able to bring my things over to Blender in order to make a good turntable, in order to present my work the best. And Blender is free, so there's really no excuse for me not to learn it, or at least not to be able to bring things from Nomad into Blender and then be able to render them. I, I don't know how to paint. That's the problem. I don't think I can bring stuff from Nomad to Blender already painted. I, I wish that I could. If there is a way, please tell me in the comments so I can learn and do it. I got through my class. Shout out to Pixo3D. I did his class and uh, here's the little animation that I did, the little character. Obviously, you know, I had to doctor it up and change it and do my own thing. Also, I'm working on a MacBook Pro, so that's very different. I feel like almost no one does Blender on a MacBook Pro. All the tutorials are PC, three button mouse, PC, three button mouse. So I sort of had to translate all of that stuff to sort of get through it, but it's possible. You know, it's not like it's impossible. It's just, I might have to go to the menus or I might have to just figure out which buttons uh, correlate to, you know, MacBook Pro. The book that I worked on as an illustrator called The Dream Machine. Hi, my name is David Reed, illustrator of The Dream Machine. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of this project with a brilliant writer and a brilliant doctor. And we wanted to share with you a little teaser of our magical story, The Dream Machine. Ashling has broken her bones a hundred times. She was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, OI, which makes her bones very fragile and brittle. 16-year-old Ashling witnesses her eight-year-old sister, Skylar, fall and break her leg during ski practice. Ashling helps Skylar deal with her pain by using her dream machine. A machine that conjures up stories of imaginary worlds to distract her from pain. The book is actually out on Amazon in Canada. I don't think it's on Amazon US because uh, the link they sent me is just for Canada. So I might have to just wait to like see it and do that and order it, promote it and stuff like that. But I have to redo the covers because it's going to be in different languages. So I'm doing a French version of the cover, which is just basically the writing and things like that. I think they might want me to do a Spanish one, but I think for now, just the French one. So I've been working on that. Um, I've been on set doing my other regular work as well. I feel like I never have enough time to do anything. Even when I'm not working full time, like on like on film and TV, I never feel like I have the time. I'm always like stressing to like get what I have done. So there is a company called, what is the company called? They just sent me an email. I have like, honestly, I have five emails. Like I have five different emails for like all different things. It's very useful actually. So there's a company called GS-JJ. They do like patches, keychains and coins and medals and things like that. So I have to get together my logo and things like that. I have to figure out if I want Joy Free Dave on it or if not. I might get the little keychain pull and maybe the little like patch. I don't know if I want a Velcro patch or just like a regular patch to like sew on stuff. I don't know yet. So that's another thing that I have to do. I've been following a lot of people. Shout out to uh, Uncle Jesse. Is it just Uncle Jesse? Uncle Jesse. I've been binging a lot of his videos so I can sort of get used to how resin printers work and things like that. There's some other artists that I've been checking out on Instagram. One is like grumpy something, grumpy arts or grumpy characters, whatever. There's actually a lot of people on Instagram and TikTok. Oh, there's some other TikTokers that's, that are really good. I can't remember the exact name, so I'm going to look it up. Slam 3D Print Lab. Shout out to Slam 3D Print Lab. Uh, I love checking out their TikTok. They have so many little like characters that they print out and paint and things like that. And this is like the exact direction that I want to go, making these little characters and printing them out. So shout out to them uh, on TikTok, Slam 3D print lab uh, really amazing stuff they're on instagram as well and even by even looking at things like this i don't know if it's a he or she <laughs> looking at their prints uh, they do that whole like lock and keyhole thing i don't really know how to do that but i'm gonna figure it out there's a link that shows the what they use their tools and things like that i'm just gonna buy some stuff use their affiliate link so here's the other profile slam 3d see hopefully this comes in clear slam 3d print on instagram so those are the things that i'm really looking forward to really excited about. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Appreciate you guys uh, watching. Also, I want to just apologize to those ride or dies who like comment. Sometimes I don't comment back. And honestly, like I just, it's hard for me to keep up with the comments. A lot of times I do see them, but like sometimes I'll just be like scrolling through. 
So I just wanted to say to the people that may have commented that I didn't respond to, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate your comments. I do look at them. It's just, I don't have the time to go through and, and answer all of them because I want to answer all of them. It would just take too long. So I kind of across like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, I haven't been able to keep up, but that doesn't mean that I appreciate you any less. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. This, vi this video won't get that many views, but this is for like the ride or dies, the people that are like into my page and into all my art and also like into me as a person. So I appreciate you watching and just chilling and just hanging out with me. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.